just seeing this scene is giving me flashbacks. Oh god, here we go again. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Uh, just a quick disclaimer. I did have to go back through this entire game to get to this exact scene. Uh, and I did change things. And by change things, I mean I just made it geared more towards my goal. You know, instead of just my fucking dumbass flailing around trying desperately, I actually had a plan. So without further ado, I'm not going to read this again because I'm going to fuck it up. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that can make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. I feel like I'm taking the context of that wrong. Oh well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Ooh, like a Brita! Can you hold this for a second? Uh, yeah. I have hands. That's what they're for. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Alright, buddy. What the fuck are you doing, main character? What are you doing, huh? Especially because of her long legs. Why are you looking down there? Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go, then? Sure. Hmm, where are you two off to? Uh, Yuri was going to make some tea, so... Oh, right. I forgot you existed! We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... <laughs> Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Bunja in club activities? Uh, what? Enemy spotted. My mouth gapes. I, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Edge. Then let's go. Uh. Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Uh, excuse me. What's going on? What? What's happening right now? I don't know what's going on. That was, that was something, I guess. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Uh, I don't know. I just, something about the way she said that, it made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? Uh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you right there. Stop. Cut that shit out. That's bad. That's bad. Very bad. Don't do that. Bad. Very bad. It's very bad. Don't do it. Um. Click. I think you did the right thing. I do not think that. But also. I don't think it was the wrong thing either. I just think there was a different right thing that could have been done. Yeah. That's, that's about all I have to say. Uh, that, that's... Okay. Yep. Wasn't expecting it. My words exactly. It's not right for her to judge people like that. E. Because... This is good advice right here. I might have to follow that. Nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. Ruined it. Ruined it. 
same cliche line that I've heard, everyone's heard, at least seven times by the time they were two years old. You know, I'm starting to think this game is all just a giant cliche. This This is literally just a cliche. What the hell? This is literally a cliche. Cool. That's cool. Water. Get the water. Please. Thank you. Do you like oolong tea? No. That's a lie! <laughs> Anything is not fine. I hate tea. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. There are experts on tea. There are experts on tea. My life is a lie. I've been bamboozled for the last time. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Hmm, yes, perhaps I will help. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea levels. Leaves? Levels? Leaves, it was leaves, fuck. <laughs> to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. Number 15. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Okay, yes, but too much might be overdoing it. Like, I don't know where that was going. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. It's not very hard to do when it's you who's around anyway. Excuse me? Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Bungie. I worry about everything and everyone. It's called anxiety. It's very endearing. That's... Hold on. Fuck does endearing mean again? Oh well. Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri cup... <laughs> Cup a pour of tea. Yep. Yep. Pour a cup of tea for each of us. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Ew. 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 Floor sitting is the worst. I should know. I have to do it every day. Uh, Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather, rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly- <laughs> Ah! Fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. <clears throat> yeah, me too! It's most likely because my- uh, My- My- <laughs> Your posture, right? Nice save, brother. Always on server like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. <laughs> so that's why we should sit on the floor. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get the book. <laughs> I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have two chocolate as well. It's a bag of small candies. <laughs> Ooh. 
I can't read. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. <laughs> chocolate and tea does not sound like a good combination to me. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book, except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. All right. Not on board. Not on board with this. I can't see too well. Uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touched. Red alert. I repeat, red alert. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. You can't be. No. When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Your hand. <laughs> I literally cannot freaking read. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about uh, making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. Oh, fucking course not. Ugh. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Triple dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Um... I don't like where this is going. That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get sponges on the pages. I don't care. Like, you think I care about this book? I, I really don't. I probably shouldn't tell her that, though. It might make her sad. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure about that? Of course. Well, this is a scene. This is certainly a scene. Not sure whether or not I'm okay with it, but it's a scene. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result... Her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. Alright, yep, that's a good place to end it. Uh, <laughs> Not gonna lie, kind of uncomfortable right now. I'm, I'm being completely honest. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Yeah, uh... This is... This is something, I guess. That's that's all for this video. Uh bye.